just as bad outside of Madison with visibility being a major issue. Amanda Quintana joins us live from Sauk County now with more. Amanda? Yes, well, that visibility you just mentioned, Charlotte, that is the biggest issue when that snow starts to blow in front of your car. It's really, really hard to see. Even a car that's not that far in front of you, it's hard to see it. Now, as you get outside of Madison, we went west today out of Madison. You can tell there's more snow on the ground than there is on the Beltline and in the Madison area, and it's much more slippery. We saw quite a few cars and semis that slid onto the side of the road. Highway officials say this is dry, light snow, so it blows into the roadways even more. Wind blowing, the wind's going to move the snow around. A lot of drifting, we'll see a lot of drifting overnight. Um, the other issues that happen with that is as a pavement, we get a lot of traffic on the pavement, pavement heats up, that snow comes across, starts to melt, starts to form ice, and so we can get a lot of slippery spots. Now this is going to continue to happen for the next few days just because the snow stopped to stop tonight does not mean that the roadways are clear. Now, as you heard from uh, the highway coordinator, he said that it's going to continue. And also the biggest issue as these temperatures start to go down is that salt will not work anymore. So they're going to start to put sand on some of those county and town roads, but probably not on the state roads. So there will definitely still be some slick spots over the next few days. Most definitely. Amanda Quintana reporting tonight. Amanda, thank you. And if you were